When the very athletic Diana Pickler arrived from Texas, she brought a number one U.S. junior heptathlete ranking and her best training partner and fiercest competitor, her identical twin sister Julie. Diana displayed a dynamic and often time-explosive quality in her performances. During her Cougar career, she won the Pac-10 heptathlon title in 2007 after runner-up and fourth-place finishes. She earned five All-America certificates in seven national championships. Pickler's WSU coach, Rick Sloan, was very impressed by her ability to adapt to coaching and by her versatility as an athlete. Pickler set school records in the 100-meter hurdles, pentathlon, and heptathlon and was in WSU's all-time records top five standings in the 60-meter hurdles, high jump, and long jump. She was WSU's 2007 Pac-10 Conference medal winner. As a professional, Pickler was the runner-up at the 2007 USA Track and Field Championships and finished 25th at the IAAF World Outdoor Championships. At the 2008 USA Indoor Championships, it was a Pickler gold medal, Pickler silver medal, as Diana won the pentathlon and Julie finished second. Pickler's third place at the 2008 USA Trials made her the first WSU woman graduate to compete at the Olympic Games as a member of the USA team. Sadly, a hamstring strain forced her to withdraw from heptathlon at Beijing. She went on to win the USA Outdoor Heptathlon in 2009 with a personal record of 6,290 points. Tonight, Pickler is on top of the rankings once again as she is inducted into the Washington State University Athletic Hall of Fame. Thank you guys so much uh, for being here and thank you so much for the committee for nominating me to be on the 2017 inductee um, group. It means a lot. And I first want to thank, though, um, the people that came here today to support me. My dad, who came from Texas, my fiance, Blake, one of my best friends, Katie Miller, who was on the track team with me and made the team crazy because we were laughing all the time. <laughs> um, and then Jed, my future cousin-in-law and his girlfriend, Megan, that came out. So thank you guys so much. And Joel, that took the baby back. So thank you guys for being here. Um, when I got the call from Jason um, a couple months ago about being inducted in the Hall of Fame, it kind of took me back to think how I got here today and how I got into the sport of track and field and how I got into the heptathlon. It's a pretty unique event. Um, I started out in gymnastics. I was a diehard gymnast. And I think I was 10 or 11 years old. And I was like, I, and I'll never forget this. I was like, I want to go to the Olympics in gymnastics. Well, if you guys look at me now, I'm pretty tall. Um, so my feet started to hit the ground. I moved on from that sport in eighth grade and then transitioned into track and field. After my freshman year in high school, I knew I wanted to pursue it seriously. And one of my teammates in high school had a club coach. And me and my twin, we started club track and field after our freshman year in high school. And he looked, he took one look at us and he goes, heptathletes. I had no idea what that was. And I was like, yeah, sounds great. Like, I'm in. Um, and it became a natural event for me and my sister and led to the recruiting process um, uh, for universities. Um, I had, I was lucky enough, there was a girl three years ahead of me under the same uh, club track coach. And she was looking for top-ranked schools in the sport of track, but track's really unique. It's a team, but it's also individual. And um, she never grew as an athlete. It wasn't the right environment. She didn't grow as an athlete and academically and transferred after that. So I really took that in and knew I wanted to take a really mature approach into the school that I chose for me. Um, took about five minutes when I came to Washington from Texas, knowing I was going to come to this school. There was just something unique about it and that felt really special. And I knew it was gonna cultivate success for me in my career. Um, the moment I stepped foot in Pullman for my freshman year, I first went to Old European, and I think most of you guys should know that place here, which is the best first experience. After that though, I always kind of called my career in track in college an evolution. It was a step-by-step, day-by-day improvement for me, academically and um, as an athlete. That came from people like Cynthia Prieto, who was my advisor, that pushed me academically to keep going and keep improving um, so I could be on the track running. That didn't come easy to me, so I thank her for that. Um, my teammates, personally, how much I grew and 
what a special experience it was. Sorry, it makes me almost cry. Um, with people like Katie. Um, and then also as an athlete, Coach Sloan, like I can't even say the words tonight to this, like I wouldn't be here without him today. So a huge thanks to Rick Sloan um, for being my coach. Um, and just a really quick story on him. Um, I had 800 was not a strength of mine. I ran the 800 in a practice meet in Idaho. And I PR'd and I was really excited. I think it was 2007. Or actually, it might have been 2008. And I PR'd and I was super excited about it. And he's like, great job, Diana. But he's like, I never, ever want to see you not run through the line again. I promise you it will come down to that. And I remember that. And I still, that still rings in my head today. That is exactly how I made the Olympic team, was running through the line. It became a matter of tense of me making the team. So. Um, that still rings true today um, in everyday life. Um, anyway, so just to wrap it up, it's the people at Washington State University that made my career what it was and has me here today in the Hall of Fame and allowed me to represent on the conference level, on um, the national level, and the Olympic stage. So I'm proud. I'm a proud Texas girl to represent Washington State and to have the WSU across my uniform for the five years that I was here. So. Thank you guys very much. Thank you all to the people inducted this year and already inducted from years past. So thank you very much.